Hello crypto community and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today we have got many huge updates for the XDC network, plugin PLI, Stronghold SHX and Ripple XRP. So it's going to be a jam-packed video. We'll continue straight after this intro. So we're going to start off by looking at Stronghold SHX. The current circulating supply guys is only 5.7 billion. The max supply is 100 billion. The current price is just under a cent and this is a massive opportunity guys. We are really early in SHX. This reminds me of the days when I bought XDC very early on and one of the reasons I keep on buying SHX and this is not financial advice guys because SHX is built on the Stellar network. Stellar is one of the most energy efficient blockchain networks. SHX is going to be a monster in the payment space. Wait till you listen to the news I've got lined up for you today. Looking at a tweet from Green Knuckles, expect the unexpected. Stronghold listings on OKX, Coinbase, Uphold and possibly Binance all within a small time frame. Prepare. Last 24 hours, 62 trust lines created, 17 funded, zero burn, top wallet balance and self-reported circulating supply remains the same. Guys, this is just a matter of time. SHX will be listed on some of the biggest exchanges and that's when you will be slightly too late. Right now we are still early. Stronghold SHX is going to be a monster like I just said in the payment space as well. Stronghold SHX is solving a real problem and there is a need for Stronghold to take over. And I think it's not only going to be the X coins, SHX is the one to watch for as well. Looking at a tweet from Crypto Disciple, Stronghold SHX salute for this. So what we have here guys is the CEO of Stronghold Tammy Camp. Listen up guys because she is dropping some huge nuggets of information for the future of the Stronghold token. Imagine a world where every financial transaction you make is not just faster but smarter. That world starts today with Stronghold's groundbreaking move, our acquisition of 2022 Labs. Hi everyone, I'm Tammy Camp, CEO of Stronghold. 2022 Labs is not just any company. They are pioneers in the ISO 2022 standard, a global framework that is reshaping how financial messages are processed worldwide. This acquisition is designed to integrate and leverage 2022 Labs' extensive knowledge and research in financial messaging standards. It will enhance the functionality of our payments platform and our expansive network, StrongholdNet. For our customers and partners, these enhancements will streamline financial operations and introduce a new level of efficiency and interoperability in our financial services. With ISO 2022, we can now process transactions that not only move money, but also convey complete and precise data about those transactions. This reduces the need for manual intervention, drastically reduces errors, and lowers operational costs. For our customers, this means faster, clearer, and more reliable financial transactions. Every payment becomes a building block for more informed and strategic business decisions. We shall leave that there, guys. I think we have heard enough. Tammy Camp has clearly told us they have acquired 2022, the future standard. Banks and financial institutions across the world globally are aligning to this standard. They are going to be on that level playing field and SHX Stronghold have acquired this company. So just imagine how global the SHX token is going to be. You are still early guys, there's no doubt, but I think before the end of this decade, we are going to see SHX going past the damn moon. So I hope you are ready because everything is happening according to a plan. Moving on to the XDC network. The price is currently at 3 cents. There is no doubt people are not going to be happy. We've had so much huge news going on for the XTC network over the last couple of months. But guys, I think XTC 2.0 
is going to change this around. But maybe not guys because we are in it for the long haul. The big players are playing the waiting game. They are going to get in when they think it's time. And that's when the big money is going to come in. And I do honestly believe a lot of people are talking about price going up so they can have this wealth. But they are going to be selling at $1, at $10. I don't think many people are going to be here at $1,000. But for me guys, my goal with all these cryptos I talk about, huddle to the end and earn a passive income. That's my goal. That's what I'm doing right now. But this topic is for another video. Let's move on and talk a bit more about the latest on XDC. Looking at a tweet from Tokenizer. Love that we've seen XDC grow geographically over the past years. As an enterprise grade DLT for global trade, it makes sense as to why they're expanding globally, right? What we've seen so far ranges from government adoption to private sector collaboration. Since day one, XDC has been regulatory compliant due to their initial testing from the Abu Dhabi Global Markets, ADGM. This has since expanded XDC's work in the UAE with several events and discussions around DLT-based trade hosted in the UAE involving XDC network. Perhaps the biggest has to be Dubai's Multi Commodity Center, DMCC, now leveraging XDC's very own contact gold for tokenized gold onto DMCC's trade flow platform to trade gold backed tokens. Outside the UAE, we have continued to see adoption from other regions too. Singapore is one of them, guys. We talk about XDC regularly on this channel. You should know by now how huge of a monster XDC is. And it's not just for trade finance, it's also for RWA, MLETR. It is happening according to a plan. XDC is well integrated into the new financial system as well. Like we always say, one will not rule them all. XDC is not going to rule everything. XDC might have a good sized chunk in the future of finance, but I think other cryptos that we are going to be covering today and in the future are going to be integrating a lot of the problems we see today. So XDC is the one to watch for guys. XDC is going to be a trillion dollar monster. Moving on and looking at the plugin PLI token, currently also at three cents. Now what is plugin? You should know by now it's based on XDC. It is our Oracle. The current market cap is just under 6 million. The circulating supply 151 million and the max supply is only 500 million guys. This is very shocking, but guys, we are still early in plugin as well. Listen to this. Looking at a tweet from Tiago. If you have a bag of XDC, you should have a bag of PLI too. PLI is the chain link on steroids and guys chain link is two digits. But I think PLI is going to cross that. PLI is crucial for the XDC network as it's a unique decentralized article platform that provides cost effective solutions to any smart contract running on the Zinvin network ecosystem. PLI and XDC are partners and their teams are too. PLI has a very low market cap of just 6 million as you just seen. What makes it a tremendous opportunity for exponential gains. When XDC goes to the moon, PLI will go to Mars. And this comparison guys lays it very clearly for everybody. Plugin compared with Chainlink, Band Protocol, Tello and AP13. Plugin is the clear winner. We are nearly at the finish line. I can already see the light at the end of this tunnel. By the end of this decade, a lot of these cryptos with utility are going to take over from the painful cryptos that don't work like Ethereum, Chainlink and so many others that don't work. PLI is definitely one of them that can definitely take over from Chainlink. Looking at a tweet from Mario. Breaking SEC approves eight Ethereum ETFs. Now I am totally surprised and shocked with this news. I mean, we knew it was coming, but guys, this only tells me one thing: all the big boys are connected. Ripple XRP, Zinfin XTC, they all are interconnected. They all know what is happening, and they are right now playing their role because it's only a matter of time when we get an XRP ETF, a XDC ETF. It's gonna happen because a bill was passed with 279 to a 136 vote, marking the crypto industry's biggest ever policy win in the US. And the first major crypto bill has cleared one of the Congress chambers. It was only a matter of time. How long can they resist crypto? We've got Trump versus Biden right now. Trump is going to win most likely because he is pro crypto. He wants to lead the crypto armies. 
So guys, everything's happening according to a plan. Do not be disheartened by these prices going up and down. This is just a game right now. A lot of manipulation is happening in these markets. So just huddle your diamonds with strong hands because utility is going to win the day. And looking at the XRP chart, guys, we're currently between 52 and 53 cents. And I am not surprised at all, guys, that since Coinbase has enabled XRP trading in New York, XRP decides to go down and then just range. Because guys, it's a highly manipulated asset class. They are not going to tell you to buy XRP or XDC or SHX. They're not going to tell you guys. You have to do your own due diligence. Follow the right people on social media. I hope I am one of them. But you have to in the end do your own research and understand the utility is going to win the day because there are real problems that need solving. And XRP and the X coins and the cryptos that we cover right now are gonna solve these real world problems. So guys, it's only a show. Everything will be going live when the time is right. But I think before the end of the decade, like I say all the time, that's when it's gonna happen, but closer to 2030. So be prepared to wait and DCA in as much as you can, not financial advice, but we will win the day guys because utility is gonna skyrocket.